chef. This is my dish. And let us know what you've made. So I've done a spicy grilled prawn vindaloo uh, with a vindaloo uh, sauce on the side. To offset that, I have a creamy uh, coconut milk rice. I have a crunchy fresh goan salad on the side because today was very hot. <laughs> so I think you've got all the essentials of Goa in that plate. You've got coconut, you've got vindaloo, and you've got a salad which is which is looking very refreshing and inviting. Can't wait to dig in. Three professionals tasting my food for the first time. I was nervous. I love your salad because it refreshes the plate, and I get the coconut and the mustard seeds in the rice. Well done, Chitwan, on your first cook. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chitwan, when I see you, I see a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I see a little bit of Delhi, a little bit of Chandigarh, a little bit of California. And your foods, your foods like that. You know, there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. The prawns are perfectly cooked. This dish uh, represents you, and I'm excited to see what you got for us in the next. Thank you, chef. Good luck. Thank you. It had no negative feedback for me, which was absolutely amazing. I was very relieved. Uh, it gave me a lot of confidence and also an insight into how the judges taste and what the judges are looking for. So I served my plate to the judges. And I remember thinking, I hope they see through what I saw through. So I've made an oyster stir fried with egg. Perfect. We're looking forward to tasting it. Epshida, the most important thing in a kitchen is getting inducted. Baptism by fire is absolutely true when it comes to the kitchen. So only good things are going to happen, okay? All right. I think it's got the right balance of the softness of the oyster and the mushrooms that you've added and the crunchiness of the apples. So it's got a great textural balance. I love the the apples actually. I could like really enjoy eating a salad with those apples and that soy uh, little marinade dressing that you've made. Excellent. Ranveer did not say anything and I was almost like what I wanted a comment, what's going on, why is there no reaction? Shita, I'm proud of you. I felt really good at that point. It made me feel amazing that they all had enjoyed what I had plated for them. Great, could you go back and tell us what you've made? Uh, right, so I've made uh, a prawn bruschetta stir fry with onions and capsicum, and I've also made a bruschetta cream uh, uh, sauce on the side. Well, this looks great. I was sure of some flavors, but I was not entirely sure about my prawns. For me, flavors are all there, but what you need to take out the flavors is salt. salt. Visually, very appealing. Beautiful. Flavors are great. The prawns are slightly underdone. Sure. Small things, big difference, okay? Thank you. I wasn't sure if, if I'll be safe because there was a negative feedback about my dish. I thought um, I'd done right, but clearly that wasn't it. I did uh, vindaloo masala for the prawns and then I made potatoes and uh, coconut puree okay. uh, with coriander and then I put uh, curry leaves tarka over it and uh, some roasted coconut. Wow! I was actually praying inside, my fingers were crossed. I had this rush of emotions. Okay, I hope they like it. Nisha, there's a lot of anticipation when I was digging into that dish. A lot of anticipation. Everything was spot on except for salt. 
एक चुटकी I miss salt. Like who misses salt? Like just basic salt. And for me, I think it was. I was really looking forward to the flavors because you've got vindaloo and then you've got coconut and you've got all your masalas. There could have been one more element, which could have brought these two together. Maybe a crunchy salad or maybe some freshness. I found it a little heavy. Absolutely. For a first attempt with a cut hand and no oil in your pantry. Good effort. <laughs> Great effort. Thank you. Thank you. I need to improve a lot. I'm really nervous because I was really unconfident about my dish. To me, it would, it would pass as a good appetizer. All right. It is something that you can be proud about, and I think that you've cooked something quite delicious. And I'm going to go back and eat one more little piece. <laughs> Especially the the pickled mango and the coconut. That's really good. And the cloves that you've got going through adds that punchiness in in this uh, little crepe that you've made. It's delicious. I think it's time to hit the trucks. Let's do. Let's, Let's go. go.